Hello, my Aries, and welcome to your March 2023 20, forecast. Now, this is for Aries Sun, Moon, and Rising. So, as always, of course, please check all three of your signs to have a complete understanding of the energies you'll be experiencing in the month of March. Now, Aries, we're going to look at the month of head, what you can expect, and how we can best utilize and learn from this energy for our highest good and well-being. As always, please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. So let's start this out, Aries. There really this is this transformation of focus and where you're coming from. So let's look at the beginning of the month. We have the Ten of Coins. Clarity card is the Ten of Wands. The Wheel, the Six of Swords, the Devil card, the Strength card, the Moon card. Three main major arcanas here, four major arcanas here. So first things first, there might be some feeling of strain or stress when it comes to the household, when it comes to your finances or to your home. This is something you might have been feeling. For instance, you might have been a little overworked, a little stressed, a lot of things going on. This can be anything from your responsibilities in the home to having the bills being paid, your future finances and concerns, moves that might be coming up. You have it with the Wheel of Fortune and the Six of Swords. It's really important for there to be kind of a perspective switch in order for things to kind of turn around. Sometimes when we focus too much on the stress or the strain or the concerns, they only grow. The Wheel of Fortune is going to say, look, at no worries, Aries. Things are suddenly going to figure themselves out. They're suddenly going to move in these amazing directions that provide solutions and happiness and joy and the security and abundance that you're looking for. You have the Six of Swords and the Double Card. Number one, that's going to alleviate a lot of the stress. So some good news is coming in this month, Aries, when it comes to some of the concerns you might have had regarding your home, your financial security, and your family, your physical structure. Now, while things might, you know, be looking up and moving forward, I think what the universe is really trying to teach you this month is your perspective. You have the devil card, the credit card is the queen of cups. Sometimes when we focus too much on the material, too much on the negative, too much on the lack, too much on our fears. And Aries, we tend to, and that's my mood, we tend to go when we're afraid to go angry and, and a little bit more fierce we're in that state. And they're saying, can we switch our perspective? Can we recognize from this lesson that our stress, our perspectives, we're not helping a situation and the lesson in this was to learn to come from a much more intuitive space, to come from a space that's a little bit more caring and less judgmental, to come to a place of emotional well-being and balance. You could have gone through that same scenario from a completely different perspective. And this is what March is teaching you. It's teaching you to kind of have less criticism and judgment of yourself and others in circumstances, to be a lot more emotionally clean, clear, and balanced. And when I say clean, I'm talking less toxic, really kind of allowing yourself to have faith, to trust, to be a little bit more emotionally tender with yourself. You have it with the moon card and the five of coins. A lot of the things that are coming up for you this month, Aries, is some of the subconscious fears you have around security. This can be a lack mentality. This can be a victimhood mentality. Like, I got this. I don't need anything. I could do it all on my own. Whenever we have the five of coins, there tends to be fear around, you know, our sense of stability. This can be financial financial stability and security or grounding our employment. This can also feel like we have to do everything on our own. This can feel like we're all alone trying to handle everything. Aries, I know you're more than capable of doing everything on your own, but sometimes we just burden ourselves when we do that. So March is teaching us to kind of let go of control a little bit. I know that's not easy, teaching us how to be a lot more emotionally healthy. So take time this month of March, Aries, to slow it down, to get some healing. That can be anything from, you know, a sound bath to a Reiki session to just a good bubble bath and a rest, to be around people who really support you and not be afraid to ask for help. Don't be afraid to ask for support, Aries. We are not an island. We are a pack and tribal people. So it only makes sense that we're meant to work together. And But March is really for you to get down to the root of the problem. Whatever it is that you are stressing about, you know, when we enter the month of March, I'm going to guess this is nothing new. This trigger, this fear, this something that's coming up, it's coming up in order to be healed. And whenever it's the moon, it's that subconscious pattern, right? That conditioning, that belief, that could be a fear of failure, fear of not good enough, fear of being abandoned again, fear of being rejected again. Whatever it is, there is this lack that keeps creating a situation that puts us into this victim mode or just overwhelmed to this defensive state and this is what the universe is helping us to heal this month you have it with the ace of cups allowing yourself to be loved aries allowing yourself to be supported allowing yourself to kind of let your guard down and to allow another person to step in and perhaps take the reins so i know it's not always easy but Sometimes it's necessary. This is a beautiful month of healing, of allowing love and support into your life to recognize the people in your life that do care about you and allowing them to 
be there for you long enough so you can kind of just rest. I think this is an incredible month of kind of these epiphanies in regards to what you need to heal within yourself, what needs to be released and allowing others, whether this is your personal family, loved ones in the house or professionals to help ease that through. You have the Queen of Swords with the Ace of Swords with the Hierophant. Now, when you think of the Queen of Swords, I like it for this because it's kind of like, all right, you know what? You're going to hone in on an issue and you're going to cut the things that kind of create these trigger approaches when you have the ace of swords you're going to come up with new perspectives and ideas of how you're going to handle things how you're going to move forward from things and allowing yourself to yes maintain who you are aries but from a much more elevated and mature state i like this because i know it's not always easy to change when you have the ace of swords it's like you know what i think if i approach this differently or if i try this out if i you know, this happens again, I'm going to try doing it this way. That's what we need. You can't keep doing the same thing and expecting different outcomes. Or we have to evolve. We have to change. But what I love about the Ace of Swords, I'm sorry, the Queen of Swords here, is that you're going to clear away the things that no longer serve you. That can be habits, beliefs, conditions, people, environments that kind of contribute to the stress, right? So that might be having stronger boundaries. That might be saying, you know what, I realize that I keep letting my mom get to me and this is why I freak out, you know? having these boundaries and then you have the hierophant i really love this for you aries because the hierophant yes it represents traditional organizations like churches and the constitution of marriage but it's a very spiritual card and it's really this month it's really guiding you to be around environments that are very spiritually transforming for you that are very healing for you sometimes we go through very traditional routes of healing and there's nothing wrong with things like therapy and such i'm all for it but this is kind of like more of a intuitive spirit connection you might find this in a drum circle you might find this in a sweat lodge you might find it in an ashram a church a temple you might find it out in nature and walking with the divine just you and them and just aligning but this really is this need for you to seek out like-minded individuals and environments that feed you emotionally and spiritually that kind of give you these answers that help you to alleviate and to let your kind of hair and guard down a little bit and to even guide you when you have the higher fin it's looking out for spiritual mentors people who can kind of guide you through this process so this can be a spiritual healer a shaman whatever it is that resonates with you because what's really needing to happen is growth you have that page of coins and at least in this area, it's bringing illumination to an issue that's been bothering you for a long time. It might provide a lot of healing, teaching you how to actually apply your lessons, teaching you how to really understand yourself and make those changes because this is growth. This month is incredible growth for you. And I think you're just being triggered by a very old situation. And sometimes the situations can look different, but the trigger is exactly the same. And the universe is teaching you, you know to be kinder to yourself, loving to yourself, to others, to heal, to recognize what this is within yourself, to face that, to allow for that support, for that growth, and to learn about yourself in a way that allows for permanent change, that consciousness. Because I'm telling you, awareness is literally 60% of the job. The rest is just applying what you are conscious of. And then you have the six of wands. This, I love this because now it's like victory. Oh my gosh, I'm able to move past this, to, to gain some traction over this, to kind of push forward from this versus living in that same mental state. So while the month of March is highly internal for you, Aries, it's really dealing with that, that mental realm, that mental state, what's going on in that subconscious. You are bringing that conscious awareness to it, bringing and taking action by changing some of the habits and patterns. And I know that is an easy Aries to allow other people to trust enough to that, you know, believe they're going to get it done the way you wanted to get it done. But we kind of had to let it go unless you want to kind of continue on this very stressful you know, kind of train you've been on that's rooted in something very old, you know, an old conditioning. And I, this might seem very, you know, uncomfortable and heavy, but honestly, it is incredibly liberating. It liberates you. It lightens your load. It, it can be kind of emotional, but really bringing loving healing and conscious awareness and that spiritual transformation to your life that's really going to allow you to do those work your soul came here to do. You know, don't try to avoid it. You're just going to pick it up in the next life. So you might as well do it this month and you're really going to start seeing this. I really hope you take you know, that initiative. I really hope you take the support that's offered to you, the love that's offered to you, the opportunities that are offered to you to help you heal and kind of give yourself the time to recognize these patterns and work on them. I hope this serves you, Aries. If you like a more in-depth tarot session with me, my links are down below. If you are interested in really doing that conscious work and development through workshops and classes, please have a look at my community membership down below. You get seven days free just to see if it's something that resonates with you. Otherwise, Aries, I will see you next month for next month's readings. Take care.